Hello all you wonderful people, my name is Brugly, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about another Backrooms level. Shocker. This level is called Backrooms level 466, or Firelit Longing. And this one is extremely interesting, and it's very unique because it's split up into three different biomes. So if you enjoy that type of thing, then I think you're gonna really enjoy this video. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and let's get into the video, shall we? Also, if you didn't see the last video, I do have a third channel where I'm going to be doing SCP readings and cryptid encounters from real life. There's already two videos up and the channel is already 8,000 subscribers, so go over there and help me get to 10k uh, if you enjoy. Now, let's get into the video. Backrooms level 466 doesn't have a classification, but some parts of it are entity infested and some parts are safe. So we'll just call it a class variable. The level itself looks like a big expanse of countryside that's always at dusk or almost nighttime. The level also has big areas of fields, valleys, and woods, as well as some plains, like the grass plains, not, not the airplanes. The temperature is like from springtime here and hovers around 44 degrees Fahrenheit or just around 7 degrees Celsius. On top of this cool temperature, there's also a bunch of rainfall all the time. And not just normal rainfall, there's sometimes really heavy storms that just pop up and last for hours. Sometimes they can be extremely heavy with thunder and lightning, and sometimes they can just be soft showers. It really just depends on where you're at in the level. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this level is split up into three specific parts. The plains, the lakes, and the forests. Each of these areas have different environments and different types of creatures that live there, and they all have dangerous parts too. So now, I'll get into explaining those. So first up is the plains, which are the most common types of biomes on this level. They're also the biggest type of biome size-wise. The plains are big open hills and flatlands and rolling meadows that spread over the majority of this level, and the grass here seems to be normal grass from real life. Sometimes there are dirt paths that are carved into the hills and stuff, but these aren't everywhere, they're just some places. And the only species of entity that lives here in the plains are called firelights, which are kind of like fireflies, but instead of being, you know, cute glowing bugs, these are aggressive glowing bugs. So don't go near them if you can help it. The second area of this level is the lakes, which is also the second biggest area, size-wise. The lake zones are for the actual water itself and the land around it. So it's not just the water, it's the land and the water. But the actual lakes aren't even deep. And they're pretty small too. They're around 8 meters deep, or around 26 feet, which is really shallow for a normal real life lake if you know anything about water. And this water has nothing in it. No fish, none of that stuff that we know of anyways. There, there could be some kind of monster. But the dangerous part of the lakes is how cold the water is because it stays at around 26 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 3 degrees Celsius, which would literally be so cold to get into, especially since there's never any sun on this level. It's always nighttime dusk, so just don't get in the water. Now, entities do live in the woods around the lake, but the lake water itself, there's no entities, so you can just not go in there. So I would recommend not going there either way. I mean, who wants to get in water in the back rooms, I, I don't know. The last zone are the forests, which of course are the forests. These areas are the smallest in size, but they're also the most dangerous parts of the level. The trees are thick and they grow close together, and a weird thing that's been found out is that the trees don't have rings inside of the bark. So normal trees in real life have these rings inside of them, which show how old they are, how many years they've been growing. But the trees on this level literally don't have rings, so there's no way to tell how old they are or where they came from or that kind of stuff. And like I said earlier, these forest zones are where the entities on this level live. The dangerous entities to be exact. And because of that, it is recommended to not go anywhere near the woods. Unless you want to get attacked by something. I mean, why would you want to walk into thick, dark woods in the back rooms? <laughs> I mean, why? The specific entities in these woods are hounds. Which actually on this level form packs of 5 to 10 instead of just wandering around alone. So there are a bunch of them in different places 
which totally isn't terrifying or anything like that. There's also entities called camo crawlers, which are large humanoid animals with four arms, if you've never heard of them. They also live here, and they're really aggressive, just like the hounds are, but just don't go in the woods and you don't have to deal with it. Simple as that. On top of these three zones, the level has some unexplainable phenomena that happen. Some of these weird encounters manifest themselves as houses or apartment buildings that cannot actually be gotten to or accessed at all. You can't physically get to them, but you can see them on the horizon in the plains or by the lakes. These buildings don't actually exist, physically at least, you can't, you can't get to them, but they can be seen sometimes. And as far as we know, the buildings don't cause any actual harm, but if you're looking at a ghost building, I'm pretty sure it'll make you feel uneasy. The closer you get to these ghost buildings, uh, the more they disappear. So, no one knows why they appear, no one knows what they are, it's just a weird quirk of the level. There's one outpost here, uh, since the level is pretty safe, outside of the woods, and it's called Lantern Town, and it was founded in 1985 near a lake. In this level. To enter, you can jump in a puddle on level 39, or you can walk into the forest of level 220, and to exit, you can find what seems to be a really old looking tree and walk into it to be sent to level 47. So yeah, that was level 466. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. I appreciate you all. Thank you so, so much for 350k. That number is literally just insane to me, and I'm, I'm really appreciative to every single one of you. As many of you know, at 500,000 subscribers, I am buying the full Backrooms outfit, pants, shirt, hat, socks, and I'm making a video in it. So if you want to see that, you can help me get there by subbing. Check the description below for any links you need, like Twitter, Discord, Toogly, and Spoogly. Right now, I'm actually working on a Trevor Henderson's Creatures video for Spoogly, and I really think you guys are going to like the series going on over there about the SCP Foundation, Trevor Henderson Creatures, Cryptid Encounters. I have a bunch in the works. Get ready for that. Go sub. Turn noties on. It's going to be crazy. Thank you all for the support over there, and thank you all for the support everywhere across the channels. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. The channel is just going crazy, and we're on track to hit 500,000 by the end of the year, and I'm just so blessed to have all of you as fans. Thank you so much. I cannot say it enough. I say it every video, but I literally, that's not enough. I just cannot find a way to thank you um, besides just saying thank you. So I appreciate all you do. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video, and I will see you then. Peace. I'll see y'all later.